Hello and welcome. My name is Martin and today what we're going to be doing is merging levels from one video game build into another video game build. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick and see what my files look like. And right now, so we're going to go into merge attempt two. So what I've done is I've gone in and I found where, let's say the build. So let's say this is person A on your team. Uh, so this is their project, and then this is person B, let's say person B's did theirs here, right? So now I've got the elevator project, which is project 10, or person 1, and I've got the cube spaceship, which is a new version of a game that I've been working on, and I'm going to put them all into one folder, and I'm going to call it merge attempt, let's say 1, I've already done 1 before, so this is going to be merge attempt 2, and what I did was literally copy and paste them in there, right? So uh, not just dragging them in there, because if you drag them, then obviously you're moving your version of the project there completely. So what I did was I did a control C, control B to copy and paste both of those in there. Now, don't mind the Photoshop file for now. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second when we actually talk about exporting your game. So um, if I was to look at my two versions, so I actually have both of them open right now. Um, if I play or if I push play on my first version of the game, you'll notice that I do not have a health bar and I've also spawned in an area which is not the very beginning of the game. So let me just move myself back to the very beginning of the game or beginning of my level. Okay. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do real quick, uh, yeah, because I don't have this level complete, so I just want to be able to, when we actually merge everything together, check and make sure that it's actually working. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plane down here, so then that way I know where the trigger box is, and I'm going to set up a trigger box over that. Okay, with the trigger box selected, I'm going to go back up to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprints, and I'm going to add a collision overlap, and when this happens, I want this to go to Open Level. And at this point, I don't know what the name of the other level is, so I'm going to leave that blank, but... You know, I, I could have done this now. I could have done that later after I, I, I merged the two projects together. I just want that box to be there so then that way um, I know I have a way out without having to go all the way through my level, which does not have an ending yet. Um, okay, so you can see that in this project I do not have a health bar. Let's take a look at the other project, uh, which I do have a health bar. And let me move that back to first person BP maps. And I think this would have been level one. Yep, that's level one. And my starting point in level one would have been right here. So open up. And this is indeed, I do have obviously a health bar. I also got a lot of really nifty effects that are happening from my first person uh, from all the work that I've done in this level. So as you can see here, I've got the flamethrower. I've got the ice thing. Um, and if I go back to my other level, you'll see that I have none of that stuff. All I have is the nerf ball. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and merge these two together. So what I'm going to do is uh, obviously before I merge anything, I want to make sure that I have saved everything. Uh, so I'm going to save, save, save. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I'm going to open up the other project and I'm going to save, save, save this project as well. So save, save, okay. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, go ahead and close down both of those projects because I've done what I, I've needed to. I, I've shown you that they are different, uh, that they are both their own independent projects. Uh, and I probably should have left one of those open. So let's go back and open up uh, the spaceships, which is the one, the level that I want to migrate into the elevator one. Because this one, the spaceship one, remember, didn't have the health bar. It didn't have the flamethrower. So there's quite a few things that are missing off of the first person player. Um, so I want to take this level and bring it into the uh, the elevator game 
the one that has all the rest that, that is a more developed version of the game right so i'm going to double click and i'm going to open up the less developed version which is uh spaceships which has a a nicer level but it doesn't have as much of the uh the health systems and all that and i'm going to find the level that i was working on so i'm going to double click on it and make sure that this is the correct level and that is and I'm going to then right click on the game or on the level itself and I'm going to say asset actions migrate. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to then collect or make a list of everything that's in this level. And you can see that I've got quite a few things in this level. So there is a lot of stuff to pack up in this. All right, so once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And it's gonna ask me, where do you want this destination folder to go? So since I've already got the other version of the game working, uh, or I've got it on my computer, let's go to the Unreal Projects, let's go to Merge Attempt 2, which is the one that I'm working on, and I want to stick it in my Project 10 elevator. So let's go ahead and drop it in there. Now, if I was to just drop it here, watch what it's going to say. It says, Unreal Merge Attempt does not appear to be a game content folder. Uh, migrated content will only work properly if you place it in a content folder. Would you like to place it in the con would you like it to place your contents here anyway? So no, no. So content, there it is, right? So there's my project, the full work working one, the one that's got all the health bars and all the flamethrowers and the ice thrower, and I'm gonna double click in there and I see that I have the configure, the content folder the intermediate and then the save. So I'm going to click on content folder and I'm going to hit select. Notice that this time I didn't get that message, but it is asking me something different. It says, hey, an, an attempt, uh, an asset already exists uh, or an asset that you're bringing in already exists in this, in this location. Uh, are you sure that you want to do this? Do you want to overwrite? Well, no. I don't want to overwrite because the asset that they're talking about most likely is the first person player because that would be the only thing that would be similar between what I'm bringing in and uh, and what I'm uh, in, into the new game. Now, the, the, the version of the player that I'm bringing in doesn't have a health bar, doesn't have the flamethrower, doesn't have the doesn't have the, the, the ice thrower. So this is not the asset that I want. So, no, I do not want to overwrite these. Um, and you can actually see right there, it says first person character. So no, uh, first person, no. And if you just and notice, these are all first person. So I'm going to say no to all. And at this point, uh, I'll just wait until this is done and then we'll pick it up in a second. But it, it, it is going to take a little while to get everything copied over. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. Let's go ahead and I'm going to close this version of the project and then I'm going to open up the version that we just migrated everything to. So again, I am in my merge attempt two. I'm going to click in there. We just should have moved everything to the elevator. So I'm going to now open up elevator and see if the spaceship or the spaceship level has actually moved in. Okay. So um, the nice thing about putting it in that context folder is that if we look here, we're not going to see a folder called Spaceship. As hard as we look, we're not going to find it. That's not the way that it's brought it in. What it's done is because you've dropped it into the content folder, it has actually looked at everything that's there and placed it into the correct folders here. Um, so notice I have my level sequences folder and there should have been a lot more stuff in there. Anyways, uh, let's look at... Uh, first person BP because that's where I have my maps so let's go to maps and we will indeed see that we have now a map called spaceship and let's double click on spaceship and open that up and there is my game okay so there's the level that has now been brought into the new level or into the new version of the game let me go ahead and push play and there you go look at that I have a health bar I also have my flamethrower I have my ice thrower and I have my special, uh, the special ammunition. Now, obviously, there needs to be things uh, to, to be checked here because this is not causing things to move. And that's the other thing is once you've brought this level in, is now you need to go and actually attach it to where it needs to be. So, if this is going to be the first level that I show up in, I need to go to my main menu, right? And let me go to main menu widget. Come on, main menu widget. Uh, 
Oh, sorry. Main menu widget. And if I go to my play button, my play button is still taking me to the first level of the other game, the one that is the elevator. So depending on how you want these things, you know, which one do you want to end up going first? Let's go ahead and let's change this up to spaceship. So spaceship. And that should be the name of the proper level. Let's go back and check. And that is indeed what I've called it, is Spaceship. So now when I open up my main menu, if I was to go here, let's go ahead and hit save. And let's push play from this level. Ooh, something got washed out. So let's push play. And let's see why that's not working. So let's go back to the widget. And I'm going to space hip instead of space ship. There we go. That might help. Let's hit save, save. Let's go back. Let's push play. Okay, so it has indeed landed me into this level. Now the only problem with that is that I don't have my little... Um, I'm sort of back where I was. Let's go back and put my character at the beginning with that box that I set up. Then this is probably because I did not save before I moved this out. Okay. There we go. And let's see where the rest of me is. Okay, so it looks like that little box that I created didn't transfer. Um, probably because I did not save the project before I migrated the project. Okay, so let's put our character there and let's remake that little box on the floor. So again, I'm going to go grab a plane. I'm going to stick it there. Let's move it up so it's not in the way of things and let's grab a trigger box let's put that over the box let's make this just a little bit taller to make sure that i'm actually running into this thing okay and while it is still selected i'm going to go to blueprints for this level and should be up there at the top and it's not because it didn't save so we'll right click we will add an event, a collision, an overlap box, and here we'll drag out again and we'll type in open level. And we will then go, let's see what level we want to go this to. Let's call it level one. Whoops, knocked myself all the way out. So let's go back to the blueprint for this. And let's go ahead and call this level one. Okay, so whenever we overlap that box, we should go back to level one. So we will hit compile. Now, the other thing that I also got when I migrated this was I had an event in one of the games called input action action, right? Which is the E key that I'm using to open up the door. Um, but in this game, in this version of the game, that was part of the project settings. And this game doesn't have those project settings. So if I was to actually go back and look, if I go to Blueprint, uh, Settings, Project Settings, and I look at my inputs. Oh, where's inputs? And I go into there. Notice it's not there. I have my Interact key. Uh which I believe is my E key. There's the E key, right? But it's called interact. It's not called uh, action, action. So I have to go back into that part of the levels blueprint and make that change. So if y'all were all on the same page as you guys were making these, uh, making these, then you would have had the same keys and you wouldn't run into a, a situation like this. But in my case, I made mine at different at different times. And so I use different names for different keys. So let's go ahead and let's uh, type in uh, event, what did I call it, action. Interact, 
There it is. Okay, so now I've got my E key back, and let's hit compile and save. And, and a lot of what you're going to be doing is once you've migrated levels over, you're going to be going back and you have to fix little pieces of code like this. It, it's the same thing. Um, it meant the same thing. It's just that in this version of the game, I did not have an event called uh, uh, a action action. It was called action interact. So same idea, just that I had to make sure that it was uh, it had this the, the correct event. So now that we have that there, we should be able to play this level. Let's move out of this. And I indeed do have all my weapons, and let's go into the trigger box. And that has now taken me to level one, which is what exactly what I wanted. Okay, so the rest of this is going to be checking your levels, making sure that the uh, that the uh, that the trigger box or that the blueprint that you're using at the end of the level does indeed take you to the next level so that you have the progression from level to level correct um and uh and if you and, and then go back and make sure that you've checked any of your code for little things like this uh for keys that may have uh, been named one thing on one person's project and are now named something else on somebody else's project when you've migrated it in um, and make sure that when you actually do the migrate that you leave the, the folder that you've created inside contents and uh, inside the content folder. So then that way it does indeed kind of shuffle everything to where it's supposed to be. And other than that, um, you should be okay. There shouldn't be any major problems in transferring a level. Just make sure that you take, uh, the level from the less developed version of the game and put it into the most developed version of the game. The other thing that you might consider is um, what version of the game you're working in. So maybe somebody worked on a, a version 4.2 uh, and you're working in 4.22. Uh, so you may need to take the 4.2 one and migrate that into a four, uh, the 4.2 into the 4.22. So then that way you're having a migration from a lower version game into a higher version game as far as the the version of the game or the uh, the version of the software that created that level right so uh everything should be forwards compatible nothing should be backwards compatible uh so with that we have now created and um we've now merged all our levels together um, this may be something that could take an hour, depending on, you know, your group and how good their code was. It might take you half a day to go back and make sure that all the code was working. Uh, the other thing I would also do is once the merged version is together, have the person who created that level play through their level to make sure that the, everything is where it's supposed to be and that it's working. So then that way they can tell you what happened. Uh, if it's not working correctly. Okay, so with that, we'll leave it at that and uh, we will go into the next project. We will actually be exporting our project as an exe or an executable file that will be playable um, outside of the um, of the Unreal environment. So have a wonderful day. Bye bye. <laughs>